What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of the Tech once again. And yes, I have started my new day job, so I will not have the time to do the crypto mining morning show anymore. However, we will continue to do that as a podcast on Friday evenings. I will be getting the exact time down for you guys later, and we will maybe expand that out to a couple times a week as well once we get settled in. That being said, I'm still going to try to do as much as I can to bring you guys as much crypto content as I can, especially as it pertains to cryptocurrency mining. And today's no different because I did have a quick video that I can go over with you guys. Now we released the CASPA video, is CASPA a scam video, CASPA to the moon video yesterday. And obviously it's the best performing video that we've had in well, pretty much since the bear market began. It's actually quite incredible. So thank you everybody for clicking that. Now, obviously that brings with it a bunch of people that are, you know, calling out basically content creators, etc., for pumping a coin right before they dump it. So for the sake of complete transparency, I'm going to show you guys how much Caspa I have mined. We're going to talk about essentially how much I mined and when I started and all of those details and you will be fully aware of it with of course the docs addressed down below for you to monitor for any potential dumps etc now hopefully this doesn't put me in a position where my Casper wallet gets hacked and hopefully my cybersecurity is good enough that we aren't going to have to worry about it but let's get into all of it and more right after a word from today's sponsor Established in 2017, OctoMiner is an international mining hardware company. They manufacture and engineer the best mining equipment in the industry and supply rigs to some of the largest mining farms around the world. Their GPU mining rigs also integrate with the top crypto operating systems like HiveOS, MinerStat, and Simple Mining. All parts come with an international one-year warranty. Exciting news! They will be adding ASIC miners for sale to their website soon and launching a new product built specifically for ASIC home miners. Please visit octominer.com or email support at octominer.com for questions. Welcome back. So it is a little weird to go ahead and share this information with you guys and this is quite possibly the best move I've made in crypto uh, since I started way back in you know 2016 that being said the second best move i ever made was selling all of my cars and buying all of my gpus for this previous bear run in august of 2020 now that is obviously why this channel has grown to the size that it has is because i was able to make these particular calls is this another one of those? Yeah, but I take a lot of shots and miss them and I would never recommend that you purchase any coins off of my recommendations ever. Remember, this isn't a trading channel. This is a mining channel. The primary focus of a mining channel is to focus on the technical aspects of the coin and how to mine it. And that's what we do. However, there are times when I, we do have to discuss, of course, the philosophy behind all of this. Why did I start mining Caspa? Well, I had some community members reach out to me and say, hey, there's this new coin that's come out and it's by this dude that basically he talked about ghost dag protocols etc and was mentioned by vitalik buterin in the ethereum white paper and i said well that's super interesting so i dug into it why did i decide to move forward with it well we are getting close to the ethereum merge and when i took a look at this project it was built from the ground up and was looking very promising from that aspect. There are a ton of other coins that get released that I don't ever talk about that I mine, right? Minor Oleum, for example, but I could tell that it looks scammy. Pink, for example, but it looked scammy. These things are kind of what you deal with as a content creator. It doesn't mean that you don't try them and try to figure out you know, what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. So I actually started mining this way, 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 way back in April of 2022 and i have the receipts for that of course via the blockchain which unfortunately now that we started the video is not loading <laughs> but i also have the receipts for it on the video because i did not hide this from you guys i told you guys about it 
and was making videos about it. And that goes all the way back to their first hard fork before we were, you know, on to the latest versions listed on an exchange or anything. And this video is dated back to April 16th of 2022, covering the Casper hard fork. Now, to give you guys an idea, it didn't even get listed on an exchange until June. And then on June 2nd, it got listed on an exchange for basically like tenths of a penny, right? Or hundredths of a penny, right? And at that point, that's when a lot of people sold. Initially, you had the initial pump and then it kind of sold off. You can see this is pretty typical for anything that's like this. It's a spec mineable coin. It means that you take a lot of risks supporting the network in the beginning in hopes that when it gets launched on an exchange, it's worth something. Well, if I would have sold back then, you know, we wouldn't be as in as good of a position as we are now. Then there was a second chance for me to sell, which was when this hit four tenths of a penny and I still didn't sell, okay? And once again, we have the receipts here, and then now we have this massive pump once again coming in with, of course, the reports of the transactions per second and all of the all of the DGENs popping in and FOMOing into this coin. Will it remain to go up or continue to go up? In the short term, the answer more than likely is no, because there are so many wallets within profit that some people are going to start selling. And it is very tempting even for myself to sell. However, I am lucky enough to be in a position now where I have a day job that's going to cover some expenses and allow me to not sell this. And you will have the CASPA address to track down below. I'm not trying to pump and dump this on anybody. I'm trying to share this project with people and I have the receipts to back it up. I have the receipts to back up that I've been mining it since way before it hit, it hit an exchange. I have the receipts to back up that I shared it with you way before it hit an exchange. I have all of the data right here. So yes, a little bit of this is to shut up the naysayers and the trolls in the comments because frankly, you guys are uneducated, behind, and probably FOMOing in at the wrong time. Now, let's go ahead and show you guys my current balance. I don't really want to share this, but I'm going to so that you guys know what we are at today. As of right now, we are at 1,143,598.9 CASPA in my wallet linked down below. You can check it out on the Explorer. Now, once the Explorer starts functioning again, come on guys, right when I need to make a video, the Explorer is not working. You'll be able to date back and see how far back we started mining this. I didn't put a lot of rigs on it. Actually, initially when we first started mining it, I just set a 12 by 1063 gigabyte, basically the P106 GPUs. I set it on Caspa and forgot, forgot about it. I didn't do anything very crazy. I didn't move my whole entire farm over it until we hit the point where Ethereum merged. Once Ethereum merged, I moved my entire farm over to it for about a month or two and we got some additional credits there. You can see it all in there and take a look at it and I hope you guys understand where we're at with it. Now, when am I going to sell my Caspa? Well, that's a pretty good question. At this point, I don't have any intentions of selling it until at least 2025. Now, that can be, of course, influenced by bad luck, right? That could be influenced by a lot of different things. Bankruptcies, uh, whatever it may be, that the unforeseen future that could put me in a position where it has to get sold it will get sold and I will tell you guys about it and why and for what reasons. Of course, unless it's some sort of weird legal thing, but that's very unlikely. If I end up needing to feed my family, I will take care of it. I will get rid of it, dump it, let you guys know why I did and basically go from there. As it is right now, the plan is not to even touch it until 2025. So... That is kind of the idea. Of course, if it becomes astronomical and allows me to build an entire farm, then maybe we'll talk about something different. Another thing that's coming up is we do have 
FPGAs on their way, specifically to mine Caspa. So if you're interested in FPGAs and mining Caspa with them, hit the like, comment, subscribe, and notification bells all down below so that the algorithm knows that you're interested in that. On top of that, I have stopped mining Caspa at this point. I am mining a different coin and I'm swapping it out for Caspa. That means that yes, not my entire Caspa balance is here, just my entire mind Caspa balance. If you are interested in, of course, the coin that I'm currently mining, I am leaving that specifically for the supporters on sideofattack.locals.com because those are the people that are supporting me financially. Unfortunately, the YouTube channel is not keeping up with revenue and I need to make sure that I show my appreciation there. You're welcome to become a supporter over there and follow it. It is a coin that we've talked about. It is a coin that we've showed you guys how to mine. I just am only basically, yes, we will always show you how to mine everything on this channel and so on, but my specific moves, what I'm doing in the moment, we will keep, especially during the bear market over on locals. So that is it. That's how it is going to roll. And I want to thank each and every one of you for the continued support. And I hope to see you more and often as I figure out what my new schedule is going to be. We will also still continue streaming God of War Ragnarok on Rumble. You can find the links down below for that. And you have a wonderful day. I will see you next Tuesday. For additional content that also goes into more opinionated pieces surrounding the politics around crypto, make sure you check out sonofattack.locals.com. There you can become a member for free or even choose to support for basically additional content at $5 a month. It's helping me stay alive through the crypto winter.